Hi, my name is Jenna Stark. I'm from Huntington Beach, California. I moved there the summer going into my freshman year in high school, so about eight years now. Brea, California, so it's just inland from the beach a little bit. Galley my whole life, yep. Born and raised, Southern California. Well, I went to Georgetown my first year in Washington, D.C. A&M was actually my dream school coming out of high school. Like, that's where I wanted to go. That was my number one choice. They didn't need someone in my position for my year, and it just didn't really work out. But then when I knew I was looking to transfer, A&M was my first choice. So I um, contacted Joe Evans, and she talked to some coaches, looked at my stats. We had a couple conversations, and they brought me out for a visit. And as soon as she kind of gave me the thumbs up, I didn't look anywhere else. I said I was going to transfer here. One of my travel ball coaches had played here and was an All-American and just all the traditions in which he would talk about like is just kind of who I was. Like before I really knew anything about A&M, like she came up and was like, you would love this school, you know, like you would love everything about it. So then I started doing my own research and started following football and softball and I was like in love. So I like, like my mom had to like convince me to like go visits on other schools because this was the only place I wanted to go. So. I've been asked that a lot actually and everyone always thinks I'm going to say the accents and I don't really think that's that big of a deal. I don't think we talk any different other than that you guys say y'all. But I would definitely say one, guns because people have guns and I didn't grow, I had never touched a gun before I came to Texas and my roommate my first year here like hunted and you know the whole nine yards and it was just like mind-boggling to me that she had a gun in our house and so that was probably the first shock I had coming to Texas and then the second thing is how nice people are people are so nice here and it's hard to go back sometimes because I'm expecting people to be that nice and then they're not and I'm like why are you being so mean to me yeah actually um I had been 22 growing up, and then when I came here, there was 12 and 22, and I was like really torn. I was like really torn, because 22 was my number, but it's 12, it's the 12th man. I was like, how amazing would that be? Yeah. And then thankfully, one of the, the freshmen, I was a sophomore at the time, but we were all incoming, um, really wanted 12. So I was like, okay, that takes the decision away from me, because my dad really wants, he loves the number 22, so he really wanted me to be 22, so it was kind of for my dad. My dad is really quiet, but when he does like ask for something like that, you like want to be able to do it for him because he's just doesn't ask for a lot. So awesome. it meant a lot for me to be able to do that. We have awesome chemistry this year, and I know it almost sounds like cliche, like, oh, we all get along, but like we almost get along too well. Like we get in trouble at restaurants because we're like laughing too much and too loud and because we're just like have such a great time together. And, and I never get any work done around them because I'm always just wanting to hang out with my teammates. And we're very diverse. Like there's a lot of different personalities on the team. So I think it's fun because there's going to be someone on the team that you connect to because everybody's just a little different. So it's been really fun so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. I'm actually not a huge superstition person, but I'm going to rag on one of my teammates for a second if I can. So Amber Garza is probably the most superstitious person I've ever met to where like, like if she does well, she has to like do her makeup the same and her hair the same and eat the same thing for lunch and we'll do everything the same. And like she'll mix it up if she isn't doing well. Like she'll like be like, okay, well, I did well on defense, but not hitting, so I kept the eyeshadow and changed the hair. And like, we give her the hardest time for it because she is like the most superstitious person in the entire world, but I'm really not. So we have a couple, like not superstitions, but it's just like what the team does. Like we don't walk on the grass, um, on the infield, and you don't touch the lines. And I mean, I would just say something I do is when I go out to my position, I mark the innings, you know, like, as in, like, we got those three outs, like, okay, that's down, like, you know, like, knocking them down, like, we're going to win the game and making sure that, like, if we have the lead, just, like, counting down until we win the game kind of thing, and I've done that since I was little. I'm going to stay here one more year, and I'm going to be an assistant coach as a student still, and so I'm looking forward to that. 
I don't think I was quite ready to give up softball quite yet. So hopefully that'll be kind of a transition year out of playing the game. But as of right now, I'm still thinking about going home to Huntington Beach. And my parents are invested in a CrossFit there, which I really enjoy doing. So thinking about coaching there, maybe some management. We'll see how it goes. But that's that's my first line of defense of a job. <laughs>